Good day, learners. Our subject for today is Science 5 for Quarter 4, Week 5 and 6. Our topic is Faces of the Moon. For the most essential learning competency, infer the pattern in the changes in the appearance of the moon. You have learned in the previous lesson that weather disturbances refer to any disruption of the atmosphere's stable condition which can manifest through the formation of low-pressure area of different prevailing winds like monsoon and the intertropical convergence zone or the ITCZ. You have also learned the classification of cyclones according to the strength of wind changes of weather before, during, and after a typhoon, as well as how to determine the strength of typhoon through public storm warning signal or the PSWS. Do you know that there is another factor that affects the weather? The moon affects weather in a way that when it is high in the sky, it creates bulges in the planet's atmosphere that makes changes in the amount of rainfall. Now, you will learn more about the moon, its faces that represent the pattern in the changes in its appearance. The moon is the only natural satellite of the Earth. A satellite is an object that revolves around a larger object. The moon does not produce its own light. It only reflects the light coming from the sun. Since the moon is revolving around the earth, the amount of light it reflects from the sun varies as it changes its position. The moon's appearance changes from time to time. It is because the lighted portion of the moon changes as it moves around the earth. This obvious change in the appearance of the moon is known as the phases of the moon. Now, what are the phases of the moon? The moon has eight phases, four primary phases, and four intermediate phases. The moon goes these eight phases in 29 and a half days. The period it takes for the moon to complete the phases is called month. As the moon moves around the earth, it reflects light from the sun. The first phase is we have the new moon. This occurs when the moon is between the sun and the earth. In this position, it is the dark side of the moon that is facing the earth. During this phase, the moon is not visible from the earth. Another phases of the moon is the waxing crescent. After a new moon, when the moon seems to be growing, it is undergoing a waxing phase. As the moon starts to appear in a semicircular form, waxing crescent starts to appear. Another phase is the first quarter. This phase of the moon happens when half of the moon's face is lighted up. Whether it is left or right depends on where you are located on Earth. The first quarter moon rises around the midday and is visible in the day sky. Another is we have the waxing gibbous. When the moon is between quarter moon and the full moon, the moon is called gibbous. During this phase, the most portion of the moon is visible in the sky. Waxing means that the moon is getting bigger. 
Another is the full moon. A week after the first quarter moon, you can see the whole lighted side of the moon. This phase is called full moon. A full moon appears as the entire circle in the night sky. Another is we have the waning gables. After the full moon, the waning phase of the moon starts. It is when the moon appears to be getting smaller each night. Then we have the last quarter. On the third week of the month, the half of the moon's lighted side will again be visible. This is called last quarter moon. Then we have the waning crescent. Crescent means less than half of the moon is lighted. Waning crescent is a phase where the moon is nearing to the completion of the cycle. We have also beliefs and practices associated with the moon. Phases of the moon are often associated with superstitious beliefs. During the ancient times, people believed that the moon has a big influence in their lives. They used the moon as guide. The moon tells when to plant and when to harvest. The moon also gives them sign about the weather. These beliefs and practices were passed from generation to generation. In modern times, some of these beliefs and practices are still part of the lives of some people. However, because of man's continuous search for evidence, what used to be a mere belief yesterday can have a scientific explanation today. Let us first discuss the moon and planting. Many farmers believe that planting when the moon is in a specific phase may bring good harvest. It is because the growth rate of plants can be affected by them. The different phases of the moon influence the groundwater beneath the earth and affect the movement of fluids within plants. is the moon and weather. When the sun, moon, and earth line up and the moon is perigee or closest to the earth, you can expect lower temperature. This is due to the combined gravitational pull of the moon and the sun. During full moon, it causes a bulge in the ocean. For the development, learning task 1, prepare the materials listed below. If not available, you may use other materials at home to perform the activity. You may ask the help of your parents or guardians or any adult members of the family if needed. The title of the activity is Moon Model. So the materials, we have the large ball or any large spherical objects, flashlight, and small ball. Here are the procedures. First, place the large ball at the center of the table. Second, turn off the lights in the room. Make sure that the room is dark enough so as to enhance the light coming from the flashlight. Third, turn on the flashlight. Be sure to focus its light on the large ball. And fourth, hold the small ball in between the large ball and the flashlight. Fifth, turn the small ball slowly around the large ball. Do not move the flashlight. And sixth, observe what portion of the small ball reflects light. After doing the activity, you will answer the following questions. First, based on your observation, 
does this small ball change its shape? Second, as you observed, what portion of the ball reflects the light? And explain. And third, based on our observation, describe the pattern in the changes in the appearance of the small ball. Next, we have learning task 2. Prepare the materials listed below. If not available, you may use other materials at home to perform the activity. You may ask the help of your parents or guardians or any adult members of the family if needed. The title of the activity is Debugging Superstitions About the Moon. Materials, band paper, and ball pen. And procedures, we have first, interview some members of your community about the superstitious beliefs and practices associated with the moon which they believed in. Second, ask them if they know things which are related to the faces of the moon. Example, behavior of animals, effects on air, effects on earth, effects on plants, and etc. Third, fill in the superstitions column with the responses of your interviewees about their beliefs and practices. And fourth, using science reference materials, look for evidences that debug or contradict the superstitious beliefs of your interviewee. Write them in the specific explanation column. After doing the activity, again, you are going to answer the following questions. First, based on the gathered data among some members of your community, what are some beliefs and practices associated with the moon they believed in? Second, based on the responses of your interviewees, how do beliefs about the moon affect their lives? And third, as a learner, how would you convince them that their beliefs and practices associated with the moon have no scientific basis? And for the engagement, learning task 3, on a separate sheet of paper, explain how the phases of the moon relate to the length of the month. Consider the rubric below in doing the task. So for the level of performance, we have 4, 3, 2, and 1. And you will get 4 points if the main idea is clear and precise and it is supported by 5 or more supporting details. Then you will get 3 points if the main idea is clear and precise and it is supported by 4 supporting details. Then you will get 2 points if the main idea is clear and precise and it is supported by three supporting details. And you will get one point if the main idea is clear and precise and it is supported by two supporting details. And here is my possible answer. The moon has eight phases, four primary phases and four intermediate phases. The moon goes these eight phases in 29 and a half days. The period it takes for the moon to complete the phases is called month. For learning task four, Below are the cylindrical pattern of phases of the moon. Label each correctly and add a short description. Let us now answer learning task 4. First figure, we have the waxing gibbous. The most portion of the moon is visible in the sky. 
Then we have the full moon. Appears as the entire circle in the night sky. Next, we have the waning gibbous. The moon appears to be getting smaller each night. Then, we have last quarter. The half of the moon's lighted side will be visible again. Then we have first quarter. Rises around the midday and visible in the day sky. Then we have the waxing crescent. Appears in semicircular form and is seen after a new moon. Then we have the new moon. Seen when the moon is between the sun and the earth. And then we have the waning crescent. Moon is nearing to the completion of the cycle. For the simulation, let us take note and don't forget that there are phases of the moon. And what are those? We have the new moon, the waxing crescent, first quarter, waxing gibbous, full moon, waning gibbous, last quarter, and the waning crescent. For the assessment, learning task 5, on the space provided, write true if the statement is correct and false if not. First, a full moon appears as the entire circle in the night sky. Second, when the moon is between quarter moon and the full moon, the moon is called crescent. Number three, the moon has seven phases. Number four, the period it takes for the moon to complete the phases is called month. And number five, waning crescent is a phase where the moon is nearing to the completion of the cycle. Let us answer learning task 5. For number 1, if your answer is true, that's perfect. Number two, if your answer is false, that's correct. Number three, if your answer is false, very good. Number four, if your answer is true, you got it right. And number five, if your answer is true, you are correct. And that concludes our topic about phases of the moon. I hope you learned something from these lessons. Thank you and God bless everyone.